Today we will learn about Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker is a video editing software for Windows based computers. Earlier, it used to be a part of Windows XP. Now in Windows 7, it can be downloaded for free as a part of Windows Live Essentials that includes Mail, Messenger, Photo Gallery, Movie Maker, Writer, Family, Safety and other web-based services such as OneDrive and Outlook.com. With Windows Movie Maker, you can create movies from your photos and videos, whether they are already on your computer or still on your camera. This software lets you create movies by using special effects, transitions and themes to make your movie stand out. You can make movies on various occasions like birthday parties and family gatherings by using Movie Maker. In just a few clicks, you can share your movies on your social networking sites such as Facebook and YouTube or upload them to OneDrive. Note that you can take a snapshot from a movie by clicking the Snapshot button. Snapshot is present on the Home tab in the Ad group. Note that default extension of Windows Movie Maker project file is .wlmp. Now let us talk about features of Windows Movie Maker. Auto Save Projects are automatically saved after a fixed interval of time so that the data does not get lost in case of power failure or unexpected application closer. Download music from online libraries. Windows Movie Maker allows you to directly download audio files from online stores such as Audio Micro and Vimeo Music Store. Audio from a video. Audio track can be extracted from video files. Outline on text. Outline can be added on the text elements to improve visibility and appeal. You can also modify the outline color and size as per your requirement. Proxy Video Movie Maker uses a lower resolution video for previewing purposes so that the software runs smoothly on any computer. Audio Waveforms Audio can be represented as waveforms in Windows Movie Maker. This helps to locate the audio files easily in a project. Now let us understand how to start Windows Movie Maker. To open Windows Movie Maker, follow these steps. Click on the Start button, then All Programs, then Movie Maker. Now let us talk about components of Windows Movie Maker. The components of Windows Movie Maker are shown below. Title Bar. It is located at the top of Windows Movie Maker window. It displays the project name and application's title. Title Bar also has buttons for minimizing, maximizing and closing the program. Menu Bar. It contains a collection of all the menus such as Home, Animations, Visual Effects, Project and View. These options allow us to access, edit and save the movies. Movie Maker button. It is located to the extreme left of the menu bar and contains features to create new project, open, save a project, import images, etc. Storyboard. It is used to arrange and manage the video clips in our project. It also shows the transitions and visual effects when applied to the clips. Preview Monitor pane. On the left side of the work area is a preview screen. You will be able to watch your video here as you work on it. The advantage of using this pane is that you can see how the final result will look like and make modifications as required before publishing it. Now let us talk about adding images and videos. To create a movie in Movie Maker, first all of you have to import videos, images or audio files. To make a movie or a slideshow, follow these steps. Click on the Add Videos and Photos button present on the Home tab in the Add group. 
The ad videos and photos dialog box will appear as shown in the figure. Choose pictures category from the library's folder and select the sample pictures that you require. Click on open button. The selected pictures will appear in the storyboard or select all the images by using the shift key from the sample pictures folder. Click on open and all images will be imported in the Windows Movie Maker. Similarly, you can import video clips to the storyboard with the help of same button. All the imported images and videos are arranged in the storyboard pane as a film strip. You can customize the look of your storyboard by selecting the zoom in, zoom out button on the zoom slider bar at the bottom right of the storyboard pane. Click on the play button in the preview monitor pane to preview the movie. Know the fact that in publishing video, you can directly share your movie on various websites such as Facebook, Vimeo, YouTube, Flickr, etc. The sharing options are available under the share group on the home tab. Know the fact that you can easily split your video clip in more parts and apply animation effects to it using the split button present on the edit tab in the editing group. Now let us talk about adding audio files. You can insert audio files to the clips or images to make the project more appealing. Windows Movie Maker allows you to record an audio from a microphone and use it as a narration in a video. On playing the movie, the audio files will be played in background along with other media. Windows Movie Maker supports a variety of audio or video formats such as .mp3, .wma and .asf. To add an audio file, follow the given steps. Click on the Add Music button present on the Home tab in the Add group. The Add Music dialog box will appear as shown in the figure. Import any file from the sample music folder in the music library, for example, sleepaway.mp3. Click on the Open button. In the storyboard pane, you will see that there is a green bar at the bottom of clips and images, which indicates that the audio file is imported as shown in the figure. Note that you can record your own voice using a microphone and add it as a soundtrack to the video clip. This can be done by clicking on the Record Narration button present on the Home tab in the Add group. Note that we can make the movie and music end at the same time using the Fit to Music option present on the Project tab in the Audio group. This automatically adjusts the duration of videos and photos as per music. Now let us talk about applying transitions. Transitions are applied to add visual effects to the movie. They are used to add connectivity to the consecutive scenes of a movie. Transitions can be added between two images, video clips or titles. The effects range from simple fades to complicated graphical animations. To apply transitions follow these steps. Click on the Animation tab. The list of transitions will be displayed in the Transitions group. Click on the More drop-down arrow at the bottom right of the list and the list expands into various categories like Diagonals, Dissolves, Patterns and Shapes, Reveals, Shatters, Sweeps and Curls, Wipe, Cinematic and Contemporary. Click on a video clip or image and then select any transition. It will be applied to the beginning of that clip or image. To apply transitions to all clips and images in your project, click on the Apply to All button present in the Transitions group after selecting the transition. Play the video and notice the transition effect. Now let us talk about applying visual effects. 
visual effects are used to add special effects to the movies these effects enhance the appeal of the movies these effects include choices for making color effects such as sepia toning to posterizing to add visual effects to your movie follow these steps click on the visual effect tab the list of effects are displayed in the effects group as shown in the figure. Click on the more drop down arrow at the bottom right of the list and the list expands into various categories like artistic, black and white, cinematic, mirror, motions and fades. Click on the desired video clip or image and select any effect. Here the mirror effect is selected. It will be applied to that clip or image. To apply the effect to all clips and images in a project, click on the Apply to All button present on the Visual Effects tab. Play the video and notice the change in the video clip. Note that visual effects can only be applied to the objects not on the title. Now let me share some tips. You can also add multiple visual effects on a single media file. An icon appears at the top right of the clip indicating the presence of effect. To remove the effect or transition, select None option from the list of effects. Now let us talk about adding title, caption and credits. Title, caption and credits add text-based information to the movie. Titles are added to the beginning of the selected clip, while credits are added at the end of the entire project. Captions can be added as a text to an individual clip to provide relevant information. Adding Title Select the clip where you want to add the title. Click on the Title button present on the Home tab in the Add group. A text box will appear in the preview monitor pane. Type nature in the text box. Now, customize the title using the text tools contextual tab. You will notice that the text tools are similar to those available in other Microsoft Office programs such as Word. The primary difference is that you now have the options of setting the starting time and duration of the text. The start time controls how soon the text appears and the text duration specifies for how long does it remain on the screen. You can edit the title by selecting different font styles, color schemes and duration of the text given under the format tab. To apply animation effects on the text, make use of any effect in the effects group. You can view even more effects by clicking the more drop down arrow on the right side of the effects panel. Adding captions and credits. Captions and credits can be added and formatted to the clip in a similar manner as the title is added. Now let us talk about editing media clips. After importing the video, music or images into the project, we can arrange them according to our choice in the storyboard pane. To edit the media clip, follow the given steps. In the storyboard pane, add pictures, video clips together as shown in the figure. Click and drag the pictures of videos and place it anywhere in the storyboard. You can reduce the duration of a video clip with the help of trim tool present in the editing group on the edit tab. A new trim tab will appear on the menu bar displaying its tools. Enter the trim duration of force in the start point category and click on the save trim button in the trim group to accept the change. Similarly, you can shorten the video from its end by changing the value of end point. Now play the video by clicking on the play button on the preview monitor pane. You will observe that video is trimmed to 4 seconds. Note that you can use fade in option to gradually increase the volume of audio in the beginning and fade out to gradual decrease in the end.
Now let us discuss how to save a movie. Once all the media files are imported into the project, save it by clicking the Movie Maker button and select the Save Project option. The Save Project dialog box will appear. Specify the desired name in the file name box and click on the Save button. Know the fact that while saving the movie, you can choose the output settings by clicking on the arrow present on the Save Movie button. It allows you to optimize the movie for a particular set of devices such as Android phone, Windows phone, high definition display, email, etc. Now let us talk about exporting a movie. After adding video, images and sound to the storyboard, let us learn how to export the movie. Following are the steps to export and save the movie. Click on the Home tab and select the Save Movie button present on the Share group. The Save Movie dialog box will appear. Write the name Final Movie in the File Name box. Click on the Save button. The Movie Maker processing bar will appear on the screen, which will display the progress of export process. After the process is completed, Windows Movie Maker will display a dialog box. Click on the Play button. The movie will play in the default media player of Windows.